Good afternoon everybody. Yes, uh, I ain't been hiding. I'm not ashamed. You know what day is a day near 29 years ago. So anyway, look, I've got these glasses on there. They're normal glasses, but they brought the light out. So listen, I've come on. Uh, why I haven't been on for a while, I, I'll explain. When I first come on and done the videos, it was to be Craig's voice, okay? Uh, find out some questions from Colton, which I, I try, but I've left Colton alone. Uh, and then Bernard got in contact with me about me book, wanted to do me book, and that helped me, and, it's like, and I said no. So he got a bit angry, so since then we've been slagging each other off, so I'm to blame as much as anyone else, being childish, uh, calling people, calling names, and I shouldn't be, so I apologise for that. But when I started doing the videos, uh, people were getting in contact with me. Uh, a police officer and uh, Mark Murray. Okay, I didn't believe it was Mark Murray at first. I thought it was a, a joke. So I done a, he done actually a video call with me. Uh, lasted 25 minutes and it was him. Uh, he looks old, grey hair. Uh, bit of weight on, sort of thing. So he started sending me uh, WhatsApp messages. We were talking for quite a while, and then uh, suddenly he got a bit angry and started threatening. Threat it, listen, I don't mind who threatens me. I'm just human. I'll take it. Always have. But when you start threatening my wife and my son, then he gets a bit out of order. So because of all the threats, which I've got, all, got them all on uh, photo proof to send to show everyone, I will do uh, next year when I go back to Liam. Uh, so you show all the text messages. I think what it is, he, he was telling me a lot of things about Bernard and what Bernard got up to, and I think he panicked a bit. But yeah, he got angry. He put the threats out. I did put them on Facebook to show people that it was actually him doing it. Uh, so I come off Facebook. It wasn't because I come off Facebook because of uh, the people I made friends with or whatever. It was because of uh, Mark Murray acting a fucking stupid man. You know, how would he like it if I went threatening his wife? That's something you don't do. So I'm going to carry on doing my videos. Uh, I'm not going to slag anyone off. I'm going to grow up, I suppose, and just do my thing, let people go on my thing. So there's a couple of things I am going to do. I'm on with Liam uh, next year. For It will be the last podcast I, I do. But this time I've always believed to have proof it has to be in black and white. So I've sorted a few things out to prove to everyone. First of all, I'm going to prove all my prison sentences. What I have been done from drink driving up to class A drug. Now, the reason I denied these charges is because I worked for a good employee and if they found out that I was involved years ago in selling pills, I could have lost my job. But I spoke to uh, uh, a manager and like he said, you pass, you pass, Brian. So there's no lies involved. I will show everyone my, my record, what I've been done for all the time. And I will prove that I was in prison 94 and I didn't meet Pat. Uh, I will prove that I went to two open prison prison sentence to open prisons on one term prison and the reason why I will tell you I'll have a medical report from Chancellor Prison where I got a good idea in, in the kitchen uh, solicitor's letter as well I approve all that and what the prison offered me to keep my mouth shut so that's going to be all proved as well another thing is that uh, Bernard keeps saying that I was interviewed on dispatches in Derbyshire so I've been in contact with Channel 4 dispatches and I'm getting proof that I was interviewed in Bazin Essex in 96. So I'll put that up as well. And people say about, about the guns, okay? Well, fair enough, I understand where I was coming from, uh, the guns, and that I'm lying. So Gary Duckroy is a serving, serving officer quite high up in regional crime squad, uh, drug squad, do apologise. So if I'm calling him out for the 10 grand at the Mercedes dealers, the pills he gave me to put on my brother, uh, the two phone calls for the, the firearms. Now, don't you think I'd have been arrested for making false allegations? Now, think carefully boy, before you jump at that question, because it's true. I did; Those things did happen. If it didn't happen, I would have been arrested, cautioned, and probably charged for making false allegations. But Gary Duckwell, is, I think he's at Chelmsford. I have been in contact with Chelmsford. Uh, no one will talk to me there, so what I've done is I've gone to uh, Kent Complaints Unit to uh, speak to them, then I've got an officer come to see me. Uh, and a couple of things, mainly a lot of it is about Bird, with uh, hiding secrets, telling lies, 
the officer down the lane when he found them dead and he was told to leave and that sort of thing. So that will be looked into. They'll probably tell me to fuck off. I don't know. But at least I'm doing something and I will have the proof in black and white next year when I go to Liam's again. I've had a word with Liam and he will do it again. Anyway, so that's the reason why I've not been doing these. is because of the threats. My wife got very upset. Now, I know he's an idiot out there. And he's got no balls at all. That's why I'm running. That's why he asked the Blundells to help get out of the country. So, it doesn't bother me. But I have to think of my family. Like anyone else would. So, that's the reason why I ain't been on for quite a while. It's not because I'm hiding. Because I've lied. Because I, I haven't. And I, like I say, I will prove everything in black and white. So, I'm going to go now. Because uh, I've got things to do. I just hope everyone accepts my apologies for not being on for a while. And we will speak soon. I'll just carry on telling stories about me, Craig and Tony. I won't get involved in the other side of it or calling. You with me? It's it's just childish. And to be honest with you, I'll probably be one of the big, biggest children going calling. So I'll call it a day on that side. And wish everyone all the best out there on the other side. And hope they do what they do. And prove what they prove. Good on you. But it's nice to come back and see us. So we will speak again soon. Take care. Bye.